Halloween! It's me, Lindsay, the Frugal Crafter, and today I'm going to show you how you can make some really cute little candy corn buttons that you can use on a scrapbook page after you scrapbook all those wonderful photos that you get tonight when you take the kids out trick-or-treating. So today's Halloween and I wanted to do just a very quick little tip video for you today. Alright, the first thing you're going to need is some scraps of paper. I have a one inch wide scrap of white. I have a three quarter inch wide scrap of yellow and a quarter inch scrap of orange. And I am just going to put adhesive, just a little glue stick. I'm going to glue these three straps together. These little buttons are fun. You could even, um, you know, shellac them with a couple of coats of clear nail polish and make earrings out of them. Um, you could put them on cards and tags and all sorts of great things like that. I even painted my fingernails like candy corn today for the occasion. I should have spent a little more time on my nails. They took a long time to dry because of all the coats of nail polish. Okay, I've, I've uh, glued the yellow right over the white and now I'm going to glue the orange right over the yellow. Now this is a little bit thicker than standard cardstock because you've got a, a cardstock base and then you've got a cardstock strip of yellow and then the orange is pattern paper so it's going to be a little bit thicker than what these little sizzlet dies are used to. I am using the Sizzix button set. This is button four and it is the little triangle because I thought that triangle looked just like a candy corn the first time I saw it. All right, so we got our trusty die cutter. This is a big shot. This is the brand that I like because it doesn't wiggle and jiggle when I go to use it. I've got my spacer platform there and I've got one plexiglass pad, doesn't matter what one, with a big shot, they're both the same, which is nice because when you wear one out you can just take one new one and put it in, you don't have to change out the whole thing. And I'm going to put my die face up, it doesn't really matter but it's easier to see this way. And then I am going to position my cardstock so that the white is up at the tip, the pointy part, and the yellow is down at the bottom of the candy corn. And I'm just going to set my paper right on top like that. And then my top plate goes on, holding it in nice and snug, and I'm going to crank it through. Now when I feel that it, the die has gone through, I'm going to crank it back through a time or two. If you're using all cardstock to make these little candy corns, you're going to need to do that if you're using a thin die. But, you know, if you don't have a die cut machine, you could simply just cut rounded triangles from those strips of paper and it would work just fine. Alright, there's our little candy corn. Now I'll need to poke out those little holes. I have a pencil here. I'm, I hope that does the trick. I usually use a paper piercer, but... Well, I might need to punch those holes out, actually, because that's kind of thick there. But there you have it. You've got cute little candy corn buttons. I inked the edges on that to give it a little bit more dimension. That's kind of cute. And on this one, I actually put a little smiley face on, because I thought those would be really, really cute. There you go. Something fun for you to try when you're scrapbooking all those wonderful Halloween photographs you take this year, be sure to put a few candy corn buttons on there and look at your dies in a whole new way, okay? Alright, till next time, happy crafting!